Hi, my name is Kelly Castle and welcome to Polyphonic On Campus TV. This new show is about all of the exciting people, groups, and stories in the classical music world today, as well as websites and sources we think you should know about. In the news, the New York Times reported on a loudly detrimental incident at a New York Philharmonic concert. During the fourth movement of Mahler's Ninth Symphony, an audience member's cell phone went off and the unthinkable happened. After a few rings, maestro Alan Gilbert stopped the performance. Even worse, the owner of the cell phone happened to be sitting in the front row. Mr. Gilbert turned around and asked the man to turn the cell phone off. Audience members shouted profanities at the guilty man. Apparently, he had been given the iPhone the day prior and did not realize that an alarm will still sound if the phone is set on silent. So, the lesson of this story is please remember to always turn your cell phone off at a performance. Recently, jazz trumpeter Byron Stripling was in town to play with the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra, and I went backstage with him to see what advice he had for young aspiring musicians. Check it out. How many opportunities can I create? I think many people don't know that we are the entrepreneurs. Yeah. When I was here, I wasn't as aware of that. I was like, I'm going to go play in somebody else's band. That's done. I mean, when you graduate, what if you had your website already up, if you had your CD already to go, on and on and on. So somebody said, who are you and what do you do? Mm -hmm. If they could immediately say, oh, I'll go to your website. Yeah. Oh, where's your CD? Give me a copy of that. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Where's your Facebook page? Does it say what you've been doing on there? And they have all these ways to instantly. Otherwise, you're already behind if you leave school and that's not happening. Mm -hmm. That's one of my missions in life. It's like to have people leave school and to kind of have some idea of what they want to do. Mm -hmm. The answer I hate from kids is like, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's like, well, I know what's going to happen. Nothing. And you'll go and you'll get your doctorate and then your post-doctorate and then your post-post-post-doctorate and then your post-pre-doctorate and then you'll just be in school all the whole time. Mm -hmm. Daily practice that you do every single day. I practiced yesterday in one of the practice rooms here. Mm -hmm. And I was telling my wife about this. They still stink to high heaven. They really do. But you know what? <laughs> That's where you're supposed to be and it's supposed to smell like that. That's really your gym. Mm -hmm. Right? When you go to the gym, the gym does not smell good. You got people's feet stinking and the athlete's foot and the, it's very stink. That's what a practice room is and that's what you've got to experience first. So if you've done that work up in those stinky, stanky practice rooms and then you come out here, this is joyful and you don't even get nervous. The nervousness that you have is the excitement that you get to share with people all that stuff that we said was inside you. And that's not nervousness, it's excitement. To see the rest of this interview, go to the Interviews tab on polyphonic.org. If you've ever been to Polyphonic on campus's website, then you know that there is a Resources tab with lots of cool websites we think you should know about. This week, the spotlight is on NEC Bridge. It's a database maintained by the New England Conservatory's Career Services Center for jobs, auditions, grants, festivals, and competitions. A subscription is required for non-NEC students, but it's definitely worth it. Check it out at the link below or by going to polyphonic.org slash oncampus slash resources. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on On Campus TV. <laughs> yes! I was, Dr. Ricker was my teacher. Whoa! Yeah! Now, that's the way that name comes. They're very tight in this area when they walk on. The clapping between movements. Pow! Can I say heck at Eastman? Blah. <laughs>